In this example, we are going to use while loop to find the values greater than the threshold value in a vector. So let's open up the template file. So we named the script file as find while.m. And the purpose of this script is to find the values in a vector that are greater than the threshold value. So I copy paste the questions here. And also add the date. And my name as a programmer, you should put your name here. And then the description of the change will be the original version. Now we are going to define the variables. So I think we need to define at least two. So first is the x. It is representing the uh, input vector. And then the second one will be threshold, which should be also inputted from the keyboard. And now we we'll come to this section and to start write up the pseudocode. As I mentioned earlier, pseudocode is the solution of the problem, and it is a bridge between the human solution and a computer solution. So we will use that uh, as the comment in the script. So first of all, we need um, ask a user for the vector. So the first step is to input the vector. And the second, we also need to input the threshold. So we will add the threshold here. This will be the first step. The second step is to look at the values in the vector and to decide whether we're going to keep it or we just discard it. Now, since we're going over this uh, vector, so there will be a looping operation. So, um, we just describe what I we're going to do in this loop is to check every values, every value in the vector x and pick the ones greater than the threshold. Okay. And the next last is obviously is output. Is output the new vector. Okay, so those are the three steps. At this point, we think that we actually create a new vector. Let's call it y. So up here, we should add another variable in the list. It's a vector holding values greater than the threshold. Okay, so this will be done in a loop for the second step. Because we ask you to use a while loop, so you will say in a while loop. Since this is a while loop, we need to do some initialization work before entering the loop. The initialization is usually to initialize the variables that are used in the iteration. We call it iteration variables. And what are those variables? At this point, you can find y is the iteration variable because it is going to hold values greater than 5. And we're going to initialize that. Since this is a vector, it's better that we will define the size of this 
vector. As for its initial value, it doesn't matter at this point. It, it will be overwritten in the loop. Okay, so let's put a step here called initialization. Why? And there is another variable we're going to use, which is an index. We call it ii. All right. So this index is to index the ver um, the uh, vector x, and also there's another index called jj, which will be used to index the variable y. All right. Because we use these two, we should put it in the variable list here. So to input this uh, vector, we just say x equals input Please enter the vector x. And then we need to the second input, which is a threshold. Once we did that, then we go to the next step. First of all, to initialize the uh, vector y. And at this point, we know that the y will hold the values of x that are greater than 5. So the maximum size of y is, about, uh, is, is the size of the x. So we just use that uh, to initialize the y. So this is what we're going to do. So we say y equal zeros and one the size of x we can use a function called the length to get that all right so that's done for the ii and jj they are the index so the initial value should be one because matlab index starts at one Okay, so now let's get into the uh, loop that to check the values. So we will start with a while loop, and just before we do anything, I will put the end here so that I would ne not forget when I finish the while loop. So the question here is what would be the condition? And since we're going to go over the entire vector, it will be better that we use the index and the condition. So every time the, during the iteration, we will increment the index ii so that it will move to the next one. So when the index ii is greater than the size of x, then we will stop. So in other words, if ii is greater than or equal to the size of the vector x, we'll keep going. So once we get that, then the next thing inside this loop is to check if the x value at ii will be greater than this threshold. So then we will use an if statement here. So we will index the x at ii. If it is greater than the threshold, then what we're going to do is to assign it to the y vector. So remember, this is y vector, and it's indexed by jj. And just keep in mind that I, I, and J, J, they may not be the same because what if there's the uh, value which is less than the threshold, we just disregard it. And uh, 
at that point, um, we will increment the ii, but not increment the jj. So since we use the one uh, space in jj, we need to increment it by one, so that the next value greater than the threshold will be saved in the new allocation. All right, so when this is done, I will say increment the ii so that it will move to the next element. All right, this is a while loop. So the next is to output the new vector y. And just keep in mind, at this point, if you just output the y, there will be a lot of zeros because um, if there's a value less than uh, the threshold, that value will not be included, so the y vector is not filled. So in the end, it will be zeros, and those zeros are initialized at the beginning. So what we're going to do is actually to take a subset of y um, that holds all the values greater than the threshold. And how to decide this, uh, the size of that uh, subset? Well, this jj will be a very good um, index because it always points to the next value or next uh, element where the uh, uh, which is available for the uh, uh, for the new uh, values from x. So in that case, the size actually in this case is jj minus one because the jj right now is always pointed to the uh, the next available space. So if we move uh, uh, one back, that will be actually the size of the um, uh, of the new y vector. All right. So here we go. So we just do the subset. So y equals y starting from one and ending at jj minus one. Okay, so this will just pick all the values that we found from the uh, vector x and leave out all the initial uh, zeros. And the next uh, is going to uh, print out all those y values. So here we go. So we use f printed f print f and then we just say percentage f. And we want to print it out in uh, column vector form. OK. I see. That's it. So we save it as find while. All right. Let's. Give it a try. So I say find while, and we will just randomly all right. So and we're going to put the threshold as five, and in this case you will see uh, six, eight, ten, twenty-three will be picked out. 